Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to prevent or block an application from accessing the internet on your Windows computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 11, Windows 10, and Windows 7 and 8 computers. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in Defender Firewall. Best match to go back with Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select the Advanced Settings button. And now you want to select Outbound Rules. Select New Rule over here on the right side. And then Program should be selected underneath what type of rule would you like to create. Select Next. And there it says this Program Path. Go ahead and select the Browse button and navigate to the program directory, or specifically the program you're trying to block here. So let me go underneath my local disk, my program files, for example, and let's block CCleaner. So just go ahead and select that. I'm going to select the update application, even though you can come back in here and do multiple rules, so you could do it for all of them. I'm just going to select the C, C update, which I'm assuming is the updater here. And I'm going to select open. And then I'm going to select next. And then where it says block the connection, go ahead and select next. When does this rule apply? Keep them all checkmarked, select next. You name this rule whatever you want. I'm just going to type in CCleaner update rule. And then I'm going to select finish. And there you go, guys. If you close out of the control panel, you can see that our rule is up here underneath outbound rules. And if you ever wanted to delete the rule, you could just select it and then select delete over on the right or you could just right click on it and delete it. You can also just disable the rule temporarily and you can see underneath enable it will say no. So you have a lot of options here to work with and that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.